The Future and Uses of Virtual Reality Virtual reality is a developing technology that makes a difference or is making a difference in the tech industry. Um, companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Facebook are heavily investing in their VR and augmented reality products. Virtual reality products like Oculus Quest 2, Sony PlayStation VR, and HTC Vive are testimony to the improving techs of VR. Some experts predict that the VR market will reach 87.97 billion US dollars by 2025. While others are more conservative, expecting the value to be at no more than 22.5 billion US dollars. Some experts predict that the VR market will reach 87.9 billion US dollars by 2025. You might think you've experienced VR and you might have been pretty impressed. <laughs> Particularly if you're a gamer, there are some great experiences to be had out there today. When we talk about VR or virtual reality, most of us think of science fiction themes like Star Wars. However, the truth is that nowadays, this technology completes or completely works in our daily lives. Video games, medicine, education, and so on. Virtual reality is here to stay. But over the next few years, in VR, as in all fields of technology, we're going to see things that make what is cutting edge today look like space invaders. And although the games will be amazing, the effects of this transformation will be far broader, touching on our work, education, and social lives. Today's most popular VR applications involve taking total control of a user's senses, you know, sight and hearing, particularly to create a totally immersive experience that places the user in a fully virtual environment that feels pretty rea realistic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For more future tech videos, hit the subscribe button to be notified once I post a new video. Also, share and like this video to help others get informed. But what exactly is virtual reality? Virtual reality is a computer generated environment with scenes and objects that appear to be real, making the user feel they are immersed in their surroundings. This environment is perceived through a device known as VR headset or helmet. VR allows us to immerse ourselves in video games, as if we are on the characters, <laughs> learn how to perform heart surgery, or improve the quality of sports training to maximize performance. Although this may seem extremely futuristic, its origins are not as recent as we might think. In fact, many people consider that one of the first virtual reality devices you know, that was produced was called a Sensorama, a machine with a built-in seat that played 3D movie, movies, gave off others and generated vibrations to make the experience as vivid as possible. The invention dates back as far as the mid-1950s. Subsequent technological and software developments over the following years brought with them as, you know, a progressive evolution both in devices and in interface design. The difference between VR and augmented reality is that virtual reality builds the world in which we immerse ourselves through a specific headset. It is fully immersed and everything we see is part of an environment officially constructed through images and sounds. On the other hand, augmented reality, our own world, becomes a framework within which objects, images or similar are placed. Everything we see is a real environment and it may not be strictly necessary to wear headsets. The clearest and most mainstream example of this concept is Pokemon Go. However, there is also a combination of both realities called mixed reality. This hybrid technology makes it possible, for example, to see virtual objects in the real world and build an experience in which the physical and the digital are practically indistinguishable. I believe extended reality, a term that covers virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality will be one of the most transformative tech trends over the next five years. It will be enabled and augmented by other tech trends including super fast networking 
that will help us and let us experience VR as a cloud service, just like we currently consume music and VR movies. Artificial intelligence, you know, AI will provide us with a more personalized virtual world to explore, even giving us realistic virtual characters to share our experiences with. In the comment section, you can share what you think, you know, should be added and um, what you think um, we're missing out on this video and also make sure you subscribe, share this video with friends to make sure they get informed on the latest trends on virtual reality. Um, in this video, I'll be explaining the five exciting uses for virtual reality. One, VR in sports. VR is revolutionizing the sports industry for players, coaches and viewers. Virtual reality can be used by coaches and players to train more efficiently across a range of sports as they are able to watch and experience certain situations repeatedly and can improve each time. Essentially, it's used as a training aid to help measure athletic performance and analyze technique. Some say it can also be used to improve athletes' cognitive abilities when injured, as it allows them to experience gameplay scenarios virtually. Similarly, VR also has been used to enhance the viewer's experience of a sporting event. Broadcasters are now streaming live games in virtual reality and preparing to one day sell virtual tickets to live games so that anyone from anywhere in the world can attend any sports event. Potentially, this could also allow for those who cannot afford to spend money on attending live sports events to feel included as they can enjoy the same experience remotely, either for free or at a lesser cost. Number two, VR in education and training. VR have been adopted in education for enhancing teaching and learning purposes. Students are able to interact with each other and within a three-dimensional environment. They can also be taken on virtual trips, for example, to museums, taking tours of the solar system and going back in time to different eras. Virtual reality can be particularly beneficial for students with special needs such as autism. Research has found that VR can be a motivational or a motivating platform to safely practice social skills for children, including those with autism spectrum disorders. Technology company Flora has developed virtual reality scenarios that allow children to learn and practice skills such as pointing, making eye contact, and building social connections. Parents can also follow along and interact by using a linked tablet. Number three, virtual reality in medicine. One of the most important applications of VR in medical science is in medical education, which has been widely used in the last decade. Many studies have paid attention to various VR applications in medical education, including the understanding of fracture anatomy by orthopedic residences, improving the knowledge and skills of clinical residences, as well as general objections regarding the patient's safety. Speedy, you know, speeding up recovery in physical therapy, helping physicians experience life as the elderly, enables real conferences with virtual reality an enhanced experience and watching operations as if you wielded the scalpel. Number four, VR in socializing. There are already a number of VR-based social platforms that allow friends or strangers to meet up and chat or play in virtual environments such as VR chat, Outspace VR, and Rec Room. As for VR in other fields, the growing level of immersion that is possible thanks to new technological developments will make them more useful and more attractive to mainstream audiences throughout the coming decade. This year, Facebook, which has long had a stake in VR due to its acquisition of headset manufacturer Oculus, unveiled its Horizon platform. Currently, in beta, it allows people to build and share collaborative online worlds where they can hang out, play games, or work together on collaborative projects. Why are we always make time for meeting up with friends and loved ones in the real world? As our working and school lives become increasingly remote, 
It's, incre- it's likely that more of our social interaction will move into the online realm too. Just as we are no longer barred from careers or educational opportunities due to an increasingly virtualized world, we'll have more meaningful ways to connect with other humans as technology improves in this area. 5. VR in games and entertainment Retro reality games have taken the gaming experience to a whole new level. It is not only a new or only a journey full of fun and adventures, but there are also many benefits from like realistic experience, increasing intelligence, overcoming phobias, mental health treatments, and so on. The killer app for VR is gaming. <laughs> and the reason the tech is developing at the pace it is is due to the large markets of people willing to spend money on the most impressive and immersive entertainment experiences. It makes sense in many ways that there could be two markets for consuming VR entertainment, at least in its early days. While the most immersive and impressive tech is big, expensive, and requires technical skill to operate, it's more viable to offer it at, de- at dedicated venues rather than as an in-home experience. As with movies, the, st- the stay-at-home offerings will provide something perhaps a little less spectacular but more convenient, at least until we get to the point where we have full-size Star Trek holodecks in our homes. <laughs> um, the big technology companies are already working to develop headsets that do not need cables and that allows images to be seen in HD. They are developing virtual reality headsets in 8K with much more powerful processors. There are conversations in the next few years that they could integrate artificial intelligence. The latest 5G standard can also provide very interesting scenarios for the evolution of VR. This standard will allow more devices and large user communities to be connected. In addition, its almost imperceptible latency will make it possible for consumers to receive images in real time, almost as if they were seeing them with their own eyes. I mean, that's wonderful. And um, all this means that virtual reality is no longer science fiction. It is integrated in, in, into our present and in the coming years. It will lead to advances that will shape the future. Conclusively, virtual reality is showing some effective industry use cases as well. Real estate applications and tourism and so on. If you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more future tech videos. Thank you for watching. Interested in your career growth in data science? Visit datacatchup.com. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more data science videos.